Today I had a really interesting talk with a gentleman here from Zgersh. His name is Roman and I observed him at the stoplight in the city and I immediately recognized the gentleman. All through he would not confirm that he knows me in any way or anything like that. Uh, he does speak English and I believe that he got through me, through my case, job in England. He mentioned I'm not precisely sure what city, uh, London, suburb, area. And he reminded me of incident that took place basically because of me, if you want. Um, he complained about the racism in Poland. It's very bad situation. And he might have been disappointed about yesterday's elections. And this is probably video I would say I relate one more to the yesterday's elections than anything else. Um, beside what I'm going to address, address is a top secret. Yeah, yesterday not only elections took place, but I got yet another person that recognized me because he gave me not a confirmation that he recognized me but he would stop right next to me just as he promised he would do and this happened around the lake area in Grotniki and then he did exactly what he promised he would do because he too was insulted by Americans who were here, I don't know, they had kids from Czech Republic too, they had awfully a lot of people, American, Israelis too, and they behaved very, very, in very, very belligerent way also towards natives in Grotniki, I bet also in Zgersh and Lodz and so on. And he was a young kid back then. Twenty-three, I calculated for him, age. And he told me back then, he met me. There's so many kids met me. And he said to me, when you come back here, I am going to give you the confirmation. Um, did not exactly match his own expectations because he said that he's gonna recognize me and stuff like this but he gave me a recognition there were Americans right in Grotniki along the lake that it was in fact packed with them um, you know and this is yet another person that gives this kind of confirmation and it does relates to the Roman too because Roman today mentioned me this racism issue. He was even called a gypsy. He told me at employment at work afterwards and that he couldn't get the job and they basically they destroy him mentally. Although he did not want to say that he knows me or that I share <coughs> responsibility for it, he did go exactly to his building, which I know. This is his home. This is definitely the guy you would recognize. He's a smaller guy, stronger guy. <clears throat> and I explained him that I share the responsibility for a lot of stuff that happened here in Zgersh. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to get away from anything or from anybody. I'm not trying to run away from anybody. I preferably would stay here in Poland, right here in Zgierz, in Lodz area. Get married here and have kids and make this country once again Poland. This country is not Poland, this is just a Moscovian politic that re-elected itself <clears throat> yesterday again. And it's something that people shouldn't be disappointed 
about because they don't have the control. The people don't have the control over the corrupt system that rules the country. It doesn't matter who you vote. What matters is who counts the votes. This is something you need to learn. However, there is something you can do. You can take the destiny in your own hands. It's not over here. The over will be if I actually make it across the border to the Germany. Then it's going to hurt me. Then it's going to be bad because your top secret that supposedly ate the troll is not a secret at all. This is just a attitude that a pedophiles would embrace. After meeting a gentleman yesterday, that biker, he is now 40 years old, you know, strong man. I met the lady that is the owner of house next to the lake. This is a beautiful villa, old one, in which we were in 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005 and so on. And it's when Kaczynski claimed that he made for these people some kind of health um, certificate, something that he got them like supposedly to the hospital and they would not even know that we occupied their home. This is not true. It's not that lady would tell me this yesterday. She did not. These are all the informations I remember. On her file, on her medical file, you would have something that she was inside of the hospital with her husband, whatever. If she had a husband, I'm not sure. I remember her only. Um, no, I think that she had... I think that I know a little more about it. I have to think about it. The truth, however, is that it's not only that she knew about the case, she was vicious. She was a money-thirsty lady that... Ah, I'm gonna say she hated me. I recall later on, when I yesterday, when I asked her about her place, she almost kind of acknowledged me as mentally ill in that kind of way that I am that I don't know what I'm talking about, that she was there, and so on and so forth. Yes, it's a pedoculture, and the pedoculture is real. It's this kind of secret like this that creates a rape, that creates a pedophilia. It's this type of culture that chokes Lodz, Zgirsch with forced unemployment because it's this kind of culture that is used for you to basically sell yourself. You have suffered nothing but unemployment here in this area and you have suffered one because of your DNA, which in some way it definitely is related to the Jewish DNA because it was a lot, a lot of Jewish people here in Lodz and you're being punished, just like Roman told me today, for the way you look. This kind of top secret culture, pedo culture, doesn't do anything good. Not to you. The least what it does is to me. 24 years of my life was destroyed. And it doesn't do good to the world. It doesn't do any good to anybody around the world because they learn this kind of culture people in other countries that see this world becomes world is in danger and it's this kind of top secret that creates a bigger top secret you know the one that nobody see when nation actually disappears so with this kind of culture you don't even do favor to the Poland with this kind of a top secret culture When you're going to take your destiny in your hands and then the elections are going to reverse because for me personally Kaczynski should be in the jail 
and so should be Duda and Morawiecki. If I make it in this country with a claim that it comes public, that it becomes known, these people are going to go sit in the jail. There will be no PIS. There only will be a real Poland, one Poland for everybody. Roman was a little bit shocked, probably today. The thing about it is that MK Ultra, it's basically I'm gonna do something that nobody ever did, and it's thanks to my own memories I have revived, the ability to revive the memories I have revived them. I'm gonna tell you what MK Ultra is precisely, to the last detail. MK Ultra is state of mind in which individual rates himself as mentally retarded. Did you know this? Did you ever thought about that stuff? I did yesterday. And when you rate yourself as a mentally retarded, when you see yourself as mentally retarded, because you are mentally retarded, because you don't have, I'm not going to say power, but you don't have the control over your mind, not of your body, anything. You are a subhuman being. You are a mentally retarded human being. Pretty much whether you like it or not, what you're going to do, yes, you're going to start to insult people as much as you can around you. And this is the stuff that was used against you. It was stuff that was used against me, it was stuff that is used against Poland and against the whole world. You never thought about this. I did not even understood what a dead man walking is when I was called as a dead man walking by Americans. Attention, dead man walking! And I looked around under MK Ultra, where is the dead man walking? How can that be a dead man walking? Elections didn't change anything. It's the direction Poland is heading for the last... Since the fall of the, of the Iron Curtain. And in other elections like this, how are they going to take? They're not going to change anything. Because this is the way it is. Because there are uncles that govern behind the curtain. But your decision to take destiny in your own hands, now that is the one that actually can change absolutely everything in this country. Nothing is too late till it becomes too late. The elections... I think they would not change anything. If either party would win, it would not probably change anything. You're the one, you can change everything. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.